Hey everyone, Matthew here, CanadianRenegade.com. So today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on creating topographic maps. And if you'd like to go back and watch the first one, there's a little bit more information in there, but I'm going to do this one as a standalone as well. So you can follow along from the beginning. The only requirement is that you download this ArcGIS Pro application. I'm going to talk about it more as we proceed. And uh, so once you've downloaded it, it has a 60 day free trial um, and you log in, you'll, you'll get to this screen. So to start off to create your map, uh, just click on map and it doesn't really matter what it's named for this application. So it might take a little bit of time to load. Uh, one thing about ArcGIS Pro that I forgot to mention in the last video is that uh, for those of you doing permaculture consulting, this could be a very useful tool. It has a very wide spectrum of features um, and I'm only just scratching the surface in these videos of what it can do. Okay, so I'm not sure, um, over here it says topographic and I'm not sure if everybody will start with that. That might have started like that because it remembers what I did, I did in the last um, project. Um, so if you have another type of map and you want to follow along, just click on map up here and then base map. And it'll give you several options. So you can choose several different ones, uh, but I guess you can start with topographic map. And it'll update. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in here and find a property to work with. And... Uh, you can find something to work with too. And, oh, actually, um, I, I'll mention it. The scroll button on the mouse is will let, let you zoom in. If you don't have a mouse, then you can press this button to, and this button to go in and out and drag with, with the hand. Okay, so I'll find something and we'll continue. Okay, so I found a property to work with. We'll zoom in a little bit more so we can take a good look at it. Okay, so that would be this property here. You can see that on the topographic map, it also shows the property boundary, which is kind of useful. You could probably use this program also for property hunting. So it has a lot of different applications. But what we want to do is create an overlay for the topographic map so we can also see the actual features of the land. So what we'll want to do is add another data layer click on that and then go down to all portal and search for layers it will bring up quite a large list of stuff you can see there's just tons and tons and tons of different layers you can use and you can also put in your own information as well but that's something that I haven't done so we'll just go with world imagery and high resolution. So this sort of map will show up. Don't worry about that. Just go to this back button and it will change the extent back to the original extent. So you can see there's there's the property from the air. But now what, what we want to do is we want to add a bit of transparency. So we'll click on appearance. And there's a slider bar here. So if we put a bit of transparency, you can kind of see that you can still see the ground details, but you can see the topographic map as well. So we'll go to about, I like 70%, but you can go with whatever you think will work best. I did look into trying to change the topography lines to colored, and I have not yet figured that out. But if somebody does, let me know. So if we zoom in one more time, you can see we get a little bit more detail. And the elevation lines are in meters in this, but I think that that can be changed. Uh, I'm fine working in meters, so I'm gonna leave it. And each line is a meter. So that's actually pretty good. That's you know 3.4 feet or something like that for every single elevation line. So it's pretty good. So this is as far as I got during the last tutorial. And at this point, I went to share, 
and to export. But the problem was it was only exporting the extent of the map that was on the screen, maybe a little bit more than what is on the screen, which might be fine for a property of this size, but my property is a lot bigger than this property, and I wasn't getting the full detail of the elevation lines by being zoomed out that far. So I wanted to be able to print a larger map that maybe once it was printed out, maybe it would be, you know, two feet by three feet or something like that. So I needed to figure out a way to do that. And I finally did after doing a fair bit of research. So we're going to go through the next steps in order to make a larger map. So the next step is if you go to insert and layout, that will allow you to create basically a map layout and this property isn't huge so we'll go with something that's a moderate size uh, I went with the, some of the largest sizes I could and you can also create custom sizes but this should be a good size for our application okay you can see there's nothing in there if you go to this map frame button and then click on map, it will fill the, the frame with the map that you've created already. And right where the cursor is, that's actually the map. So you can see how much more information is there. And we're gonna adjust it just a little bit more. So down here, we can zoom in a little bit more. I'm gonna go to about, I think 2000 would be good. Um, what's going on here? Oh, I didn't, didn't press enter. Okay, so now you can see we're a lot closer. And if we want to center, recenter the screen, we can go to, if you click on layout and activate, that will allow us to recenter the image. Once you have it the way that you like it, click on this layout here and I'll go back. So at this point, the map is basically ready. It'll have the same detail as this level of, um, actually probably more detail than this, if we change this to 2000. So it'll be that sort of detail level, but it'll be a large size printout. Okay, so at this point, the map is basically ready to export. I'm just gonna add a couple more quick features to this before I forget. Um, if we go to insert, we can insert a uh, north arrow. Let me make that a little bit bigger. And we'll move that over to the corner. And scale would be nice too. So you can see there's a variety of different scales. I like kind of like this one. So I'll go with that one and I'll place that down in the corner here. Okay, so I'm satisfied with the way this map is, but you can see there's a lot of different options in ArcGIS. So now still staying in the in this layout, we'll go with to share, and now we can export the layout instead of just the map extent. So I'll click on layout, and I'm fine with just layout. And you can see down here, there's a variety of formats. I'm going to go with JPEG. It's a pretty small file and I can easily open it on this computer. So I'll export that. Uh, it already exists, but that's fine. I'll just overwrite it. Okay, let's go take a look at it. Okay, so here's the layout. And it's quite large, so we'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, so you can see there's there's a lot of information here. You have the property boundaries, you have the elevation changes. The nice thing about a large map like this is that you can also see water coming onto your property from your neighbor's property. So if you're doing a permaculture design, you need to consider where the water is both entering and leaving your property from adjacent properties as well. And let's also take a quick look at my property. It's a little bit larger, so you can kind of see the, the type of information that's available there. Uh, 
Okay, so this was a custom map that I made of my property. It's a little bit more of an exaggerated rectangle shape, and it's uh, zoomed in pretty close to my property. I also did one that was a bit farther out than this, and I did one that was way further out than this, so I could have a variety of information to look at. But we'll zoom in. But you can see, you know, this is the level of, of detail for a larger property. You know, I have to go quite a ways just to find the, the scale in the corner here. Okay, so that's going to be it for the maps. Um, if you're only interested in the maps, you can cut out here, I guess. I'm going to go back and just show a couple more features in ArcGIS that I thought were kind of neat. Okay, so there's a couple other features I wanted to show you in ArcGIS. Uh, if you go back to the map, uh, there is a measurement tool. So this could come in handy if you're doing a permaculture design or even if you own a piece of property, maybe you want to get a rough idea of the distance of something. So if we click on this, let's say we want to measure the length of the driveway. All right, so 58.66 meters. If you want to change the units, we can do that. And you can have as many as you want. All right, so 64.15 yards. It also has a area measurement tool. So if we go around the boundary of the property, Okay, so it's uh, 19,879 square meters. To me, I'm used to meters. That still doesn't mean a lot, but I am familiar with acres, so we'll change that. Okay, 4.91 acres. It's probably a five acre property, but you can, you can see how this would be useful for permaculture design or if you're property hunting. Okay, so I think that just about does it for today. Hopefully you like this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.